Hey guys, look Funk here and welcome to another FIFA 21 player review. And today, guys, I'm going to be doing the 85 rated informed Diego Jota from Liverpool, celebrating his uh, goal, of course, against Wolves in the uh, in the win a couple of days ago, um, which was a decent performance by Liverpool. And obviously, nice to see him back on the score sheets fit again. I think he's certainly given a big boost to the team. And obviously, uh, it should be very good to watch him in the upcoming Champions League games as well, depending on who Liverpool uh, get in the draw on Friday. But um, I I thought I have to review this card because he actually looks absolutely insane. I did buy him for 260,000 coins and I've seen this card still retain a fairly high price tag, of course, for the fact that he plays for Liverpool and that he's now got a, uh, you know, a central card as a centre forward. It obviously further increases his demand like a lot more and uh, having the five-star weak foot as well as a striker is really, really cool. And in general, this team of the week looks absolutely insane. I'd really like to be able to get him on my player pick pack as well at like the weekend bonus player pick pack or whatever uh, that's going to be available for this upcoming weekend. But um, yeah, we did buy him for 260,000 coins, three games, four goals, and two assists. Uh, the four-star scum was in the five-star week, foot, like I mentioned before, some very nice in-game stats. His 89 ball control, his 89 dribbling, 92 agility, uh, 89 shot power as well. I did also have the hot chem stat applied to him, and then player traits, a solid player, and speed dribbler. And I like this card. I know, obviously, his price is very high at the moment, and to be honest... Um, I, I can't quite see him, you know, being uh, like expensive as over 250,000 going into the weekend. I think his price will decrease. I think eventually he'll still be a very sought after player. He'll still be very, very expensive for an 85 rated. I don't, I, I don't see him dropping any lower than like 120,000 coins on Xbox. And obviously, you know, being on PlayStation and PC, the, you know, the prices of those cards would be even higher because typically if you're on Xbox, the cards are usually a little bit cheaper, but I can't see him dropping for any lower than 120,000 coins over the next few days but um this is a fantastic card. His passing is absolutely superb. Um, he's got 83 vision, 81 short passing. They were actually in game were very, very good to come away as well with the two assists in those four games um, or in the three games was obviously a very, very good return. Uh, his finishing as well is absolutely superb. Of course, having the whole canvas that applied to him is fantastic. Having the five star weak foot, so his finishing goes up to 88. His shot power and positioning both go into the uh, into the mid nines, which of course are absolutely fantastic. Um, and you know the five star weak foot is class to have as well. Of course, on an attacker, it's such a good trade, such a good assets uh, to be able to have a uh, you know applied to them his pace as well was also really good because um, his, his, acceler his acceleration goes up to like 97, his sprint speed goes up to 88, so he's very quick, he can outpace a lot of opposition defenders, uh, of course of how good his agility and his balance are as well, it makes him feel even more quicker on the ball, um, so, you know, pace-wise, this card is, is, you know, superb, and then of course his dribbling, having the four-star skill moves, and all of his dribbling stats are amazing, having 92 agility and 91 balance, and then very high 80s on the other dribbling stats is, of course, absolutely fantastic, and in general, he was just a really fun card to be able to use, I mean, he came away with what, I think it was six goal contributions in the three matches which was uh, really good the first game I was having to kind of like find my feet with him it took a little uh, like th th that first match I had to kind of adjust to him but once I got into that second and that third game he was just absolutely flying for me and yes you know for, for 250 260,000 coins he is so expensive for that price and to be honest if you just wait another 24 48 hours maybe you might get him in your foot jumps rewards or your division rival rewards he will come down in price. The reason, partly for the reason as well, why he's expensive, of course, being from Liverpool um, and having a central card makes him very expensive. But also for the fact is that there's literally no promo packs in the game right now. Like the best packs that you can open are the 7.5k packs from the store. So I suppose in a way as well, that also has a bit of an effect. But um, listen, he's a good card. I, I just personally, as good as he is... I still don't think I'd spend realistically a quarter of a million on him just because I know um, that he just will become cheaper over the next few days. You know, he's not going to be pretty expensive for an 85 rated inform. He'll easily stay above 100,000 coins. There's, the, you know, there's no way that he'll go any cheaper than that. Um, but yeah, on the whole, great card to be able to use. Just don't, like, take your time buying him because he will definitely become cheaper over the next few days. But anyway, guys, that will finish off this player review. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.